Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's that van guy again with another weekly video. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it informational. If you do, smash that like button for me and be sure to subscribe if you're not already. All right, on with today's video. Today we're checking out the brand new Hot Wheels Collectors ROC exclusive 70s Dodge Tradesman van. Originally released January 24, 2023 at 9 a.m. Limit 2 per ROC account membership or 10 per household. I've been watching this casting for a long time and really excited about it. I think this is going to be one of my new favorites. The first time I saw any info on it was October 8th, 2021. Uh, that was the first I heard about the casting being created. They had a plastic 3D printed scale model of it in orange at one of the Hot Wheels conventions on display. Uh, pics were taken of it by convention attendees and then shared online. I saw the pictures and info and, and immediately shared it on the That Van Guy Facebook page to get the word out to all the other Van Diecast fans. Then on November 28, 2022, I shared a couple new photos I found online from a Singapore Diecast Expo showing it fully completed in the packaging as if it was available for sale but the release date still had not been announced yet which later would be January 24th 2023 let me just show the back of the display box and hopefully it's nice and focused and you can pause it here if you want to read all that cool info about this diecast or this release but let's get rid of this display cover and let's check out the diecast right so you can see it says dodge tradesman there on the front of the display case and redline club and it's got a little plastic insert in there to kind of keep it in place so it doesn't get bounced around in case the fastening hardware loosens up so i'll give it a little spin uh, in the display case uh, this is how some of you guys might be displaying it if you're not a loose collector uh, we're going to open this one up and check it out in detail it's got opening doors we're going to check out those features and look at all the fine details the interior and everything so it should be pretty cool uh, the Hot Wheels designer that created this casting or was in charge of it is Brendan Vituski. Vituski? Hopefully I'm saying his last name right. The Dodge Tradesman is a Hot Wheels casting debuting as an ROC exclusive in 2023. It features opening rear and side doors. In development, this casting was named the Tradesman. All right, so let's open her up here. We'll give you a quick shot of the base. It actually does have a number on the bottom, a couple foil stickers, more licensing stuff. But this is 7,038 of 30,000 made. And then it looks like it's got two screws holding the van in place. So we're going to try to get this thing opened up. Okay, here's a little plastic insert that was in there. Try to hold the van in place. And here is the real prize. Uh, I didn't realize it. I didn't know that it had any striping on it. Uh, the paint is so reflective and shiny that I thought that was just a reflection of the light. Uh, Kind of bouncing off of the body lines of the van but it actually does have uh some like purple and pink uh body line stripes on the side which is really cool i thought it was just all purple so we'll give that a spin on the base and then i'll remove it from the base and we can uh, check it out in even closer detail
There's a little closer up. And now I'll take it off the base and we can check out the base and all the fine details and open up the doors and check out the interior. Okay, I threw on some jeweler's gloves. An old trick my buddy Champion DJK taught me. You can get these uh, jeweler's gloves fairly cheap on eBay or Amazon. Uh, that way... Uh, you don't put a bunch of fingerprints or like oils from your skin on the paint because it's so reflective. It's like a mirror. And uh, if you're handling it with your fingers, it's bound to get fingerprints and stuff. So I just want to keep it like mint condition if I can. So put some gloves on. So let's uh, check out the base. Uh, metal base. I'll try to hold it in just right in the light so you can read the the print on the bottom. It says the tradesman. Mattel. Pretty detailed uh, bottom. You can see the leaf springs and the rear axle, the drive shaft, transmission, some front suspension pieces, front sleigh bar. And those uh, ex uh, chrome side pipes. And it might be like a little bit of a gas tank in the back there. Behind the rear wheels. You can see the wheels are treaded rubber. Some nice fat wheels. I think it has... I think the wheels in the back are wider than the front slightly. Uh, the tires are... BF Goodrich Radial TA, white letters on them, and kind of an old school five spoke type wheel. It's got a detailed license plate on the front that says Rockin'. Not sure what state that's from. Hard for me to read it. It's very small. But it's got a chin spoiler with some like ground lights in it. Custom grill. Dual headlights on both sides. It's got a sunroof that's actually tipped open a little bit, which is a pretty neat feature. I don't know if any other. Uh, Hot Wheels diecast has had that tipped open sunroof. Uh, haven't seen that on any other vehicle yet. There's the side pipes. The rubber wheels with the BF Goodrich Radial TA white letter tires. Let's see, it's got a little bit of a hair on it or something. You can see the purple and pink uh, body line stripes on it, which is pretty cool. Door handles. Chrome trim around the door, front driver's door, or passenger door, I should say. It's got a sun visor above the windshield there. You can see it's got the uh, porthole windows, teardrop shaped. Check out look at the back. Some cool uh, louvered window covers on the back doors. You can see it says Dodge in the font. And the license plate says Rockin'. 70s taillights. Chrome bumper. And then there's the the little silver dot where the gas cap would be. I don't see any side markers on this at all. So maybe it's a custom 
it was customized and the side markers are uh, deleted or maybe in a future release they'll have the side markers painted on the van ribbed uh, roof as my friend Howard Furtak pointed out it's not completely correct uh, the Dodge van 70s Dodge van does not have uh, the ribbing on the roof is not like a ripples potato chip uh, like this is where it's just all straight uh, lines it's got kind of a pattern on the top if you've ever seen a 70s Dodge van it actually has a different pattern in the uh, reliefs and contours of the roof but they're uh, that's you know some really splitting hair stuff here I mean overall I love this thing it's so cool so happy to have it uh, but and I'm not trying to nit nitpick it or pick it apart and say it's not good or it's not perfect I'm just pointing out uh, some things I notice that are missing um, or different uh, the the grill would be a custom grill uh, in the 70s they didn't come with the square headlights that were stacked on top of each other but it was a cost popular custom modification uh, usually it was just one round headlight on each side and it didn't have quite this straight bar grill so this is probably a custom grill uh, and custom headlight setup on this van uh, the van seems to have flared fenders and a chin spoiler which that was not um, a stock thing either they didn't come stock with a chin spoiler or uh, fender flared fenders around the wheel well so that's a custom touch obviously side pipes might have been able to get from the factory uh, but they usually didn't come like that and also the teardrop window would have been a custom addition uh, back when they did the street vans there were a lot of options you could get at the dealership and extra add-ons I would imagine I'm not an expert by any means uh, and also the sun visor would have been an aftermarket add-on so this is definitely a customized van heavily customized chin spoiler fender flare sun visor custom grill and headlights side pipes porthole window teardrop aftermarket wheels rear window louvers sun visor not all dodge vans had a sun visor mine doesn't so now we'll try to get these doors open we'll take a look inside all right I got the doors open they open pretty easily but there's a pretty tight fit so you need to maybe get like the blade of a, a knife or something or maybe a toothpick or something to really get in there uh, make it easier to get the the doors open or at least get them started but they seem very sturdy they don't seem flimsy and they opened real easy and uh, it just seemed like they had a really nice tight fit uh, so we're checking out the interior now with those doors open and I'll try to zoom in even closer so we can really get a good detailed look at that uh, interior which is part of the coolness of this particular release is how detailed the interior is
All right, guys, one more shot of uh, all that awesome detail on this Hot Wheels Collector's RLC exclusive 70s Dodge Tradesman van. Really cool. Uh, the doors open and close uh, really well. They line up really well. Just give a little demo of closing the doors. They seem to uh, be pretty well lined up and closed pretty well. Not really sure which door is supposed to close first. But anytime you have a vehicle that has opening doors, it's always uh, sometimes can be an issue. But I think it uh, the doors close pretty well. They're not loose, so they don't open. They don't like flop open. So they stay closed if you want them closed, or they stay, stay open if you want them open. So, very cool piece. Super stoked to have this in my collection. And uh, I can't wait to see more of these castings release with uh, different paint jobs and liveries in the near future, hopefully. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video, guys. This is where I usually add extra content, like sneak peeks in my diecast display room and my casting collection, stuff like that. So uh, make sure you check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy, and you can also find me on Instagram. I'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy on Instagram, so check me out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day.